Let's start this morning's little walkabout by telling you anemone blander. Look at them, lovely blue blander they are. And they're peeking up around this shrubbery. It's a rough shrubbery, this one. It's a, it's a rather woodlandy area. And over here, it's a, an area that we're going to concentrate on trying to get some wild flowers to grow. It's a little wild there as well, as you can see. And uh, we'll keep you in touch with how the wild flower goes. Um, and we'll show you how we are actually gonna, we're gonna actually get a rotabate, a rotabate a little on the ground, because if you don't get the wild flower into the, into the, uh, into the soil, it really won't go. Now I know you can see my shadow in here, but I wanted to show you, do you remember we were planting lots of daffodil? Um, just digging holes with a spade and an auger we were using, and look, here they are. Look, just look across that area there. Look at them all coming into bud through there. That really makes it all worthwhile, doesn't it? Snowdrop's still out here. This is an area where we had to take out a fallen uh, sweet chestnut tree, which was rather sh a shame. And the area, again, we'll put some wild flower in there, I think, because there's nice good ground. Uh, winter aconites are uh, growing quite nicely at the back there. We can see the winter aconites here. And the, the, uh, there's bulbs everywhere. We've planted a lot of bulbs and they're looking really rather good. Look at those buds just coming out and showing their heads. And we've used blocks of similar, si single colours. So here we've got a very attractive one there. You can see it with its lovely orange centre. And that's how I always liked to plant bulbs. So it's a reminder for next year for you all. If you've got an area that you're doing in wildflower and wild plants, look for thinking of bulbs. But go for single colours. Buy big sacks of one colour and you'll uh, do very well indeed. Just looking back here, uh, there's Prunus Posadii showing its lovely pink flowers at this time of the year and you'll see lots of those around and you've noticed i'm sure in the hedgerows plenty of blackthorn showing its uh, face as well with those lovely white flowers bird life is coming together as well and just now i saw a couple of bees out as well so they are nature is coming there's a long-tailed tit over there amongst the poseidon they are plant daffodils snowdrops winter aconites all sorts of things in your wild areas. So those of you with enough room, create a little wild area that you can enjoy.